Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Oak and Crest, day 13. Hard mode island. It's so hard. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I did that. Uh, June 13th. It's not actually the 13th. It's the 18th, and you know what that means. That means the Nintendo Direct was this morning. I just watched it. I'm going to talk to you about it. But first, let's welcome Leopold. Hey, Leopold. Welcome. Uh, we do need to do another villager hunt today. That's what we're going to do. Thank you, Isabel. So, oh. <laughs> That's me in my, um, my lovely outfit that Bill designed for me. So we had our Sweetie Sunday special. That was our last video that went up. Um, that's when Bill comes to my island or I go to his island or whatever. We record together and he designs an outfit for me and there's there's sometimes a, a reason or an interpretation and sometimes there's very not. So um, this is a great big giant cookie because I love cookies. I thought it was a ladybug because I'm colorblind and at first glance I thought maybe it was red. <laughs> and according to Bill's um, little brain, this this says I love cookies. He ran out of room for the S and I think he doesn't understand but in the United States we read left to right top to bottom and he doesn't get the whole heart replacing other things thing. So we're going to have to work on that with him. But anyway, so the the deal... Hey, did you see that? The glowing spot is right in front of my house. Um, oh, so I got some miles because somebody moved in. Um, the Oh, the deal is that he makes me an outfit and I wear it all that day and all the next day. So that's fun. Really, I don't, I don't mind this outfit. I think this is a pretty great outfit, but I'm not a fan of the rose. I don't like that I'm running around with a rose in my mouth, and especially since it's not actually in my mouth. Can you see that? It's in front of my mouth. Yeah, and when I talk to people, it's it's a little too close. Hello there, dragonfly. So look, there's our, our glowing spot. He did say, like, after I really was frustrated with him and chastised him, because... Oh, you would think by now he would understand the rules of recording with me, and yet he still crosses the line and then I have to do a bunch of editing and then I get really cranky. Um, oh, I don't have a storage shed. I'll be right back. Anyway, so I was very cranky with him and he said, you, you don't have to wear the rose if you don't want to wear the rose. I'm just going to put these boxes right here. I don't want to run all the way over there. That's okay. Um, and <laughs> I'm like, dude, that is so not... Um, that's not the problem, <laughs> but I have permission to get rid of that rose if I want to. I don't think I will because, you know, that's kind of the thing. So he said he had this great name for me because he always likes to tell me who I am after he gives me my funny outfit, but then he couldn't remember what it was. So he made one up on the spot and after figuring out how to actually say the word, I am cracking the cookie eater. Yeah, I know, right? I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Oh, do I have enough money? Oh, good. I need to grab. I need to get a plot. We did set up Able Sisters. That's very, very exciting because that means that um, I'll be able to have him put his code in my Able Sisters. Is there somebody here? There's not somebody here. Let's just double check and see if Red is here. Red is not here. If Red were here, there would be a little leaf up there on the secret beach in the back. Now, we have seven villagers. And we need eight villagers and some other stuff to hit three stars. But what I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just, I'm going to get the eighth villager and then just hang there for a little while. Like usually I get the eighth villager and then I immediately get the ninth and immediately get the tenth. I think I'm going to hang at eight. I'm going to get eight and then just stay there for a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to go get a plot and a ticket. And we're going to go place it, and then we're going to go on a villager hunt. I'll be right back. I also... Hi, Audie. I checked our island rating while I was in there. We do have two stars, which is what I would expect. Now, um, usually, I, as I get my, whatever you call it, uh, eighth villager, I would have three stars very quickly. Um, I do... I have... Oh, we'll grab it. Um, I, I do need to clean up the trash, right? Like these things are placed and they will help us, but I do need to clean up the trash. 
that could be a hindrance. Um, and then what else was I going to say? Oh, I probably need more flowers. That would be my guess. I did, however, let me show you, show you over here. Um, I did place an incline. I can't get through there. <laughs> I put all these over here and I kind of half thought, oh, that's, that's not going to be a problem. Hey, Flick. Good to see you, bud. Um, oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to talk to him today. Let's just talk to him. I don't have anything to sell to him because I don't sell the bugs, but when I was playing hard mode, uh, we just kind of went, if you're not selling to him, then talking to him is enough. I mean, I guess I could, I could, um, I could catch three bugs and get him to commission something, but I think we're just going to call talking to him. Good. So we put an incline here mostly so that Rodney wasn't trapped without access. Here's Rodney. We're not going to talk to him right now. But I was going to say, we have, we have plenty of room to put a plot up here. Um, I don't want to, obviously don't want to have to move the, was that a ladybug? Not that one, the other one. The other one is a ladybug. Um, yeah, I'm going to catch that because I haven't caught a ladybug yet, I don't think. Let's see. We're going to find out. Stay where you are, little ladybug. Okay. Um... See, it matches my shirt, Bill. It looks like a ladybug. I'm just kidding. It doesn't match it. But can you see why I thought it was a ladybug? You guys tell me. Um, I'm going to figure out where to put this plot. And will I do that? Oh, maybe we could put it right there. That would be a good spot. Huh? Let's try that. Um, I wanted to mention a couple of things. A couple of people. A couple of channels. So, um, one of my friends who follows my channel is called Guffy. And she's a very active participant in my channel. And she started her own channel. Guess what it's called? It's called Guffy. That's brilliant, Guffy. That's brilliant. <laughs> It's so easy to remember. So I will link to her channel. Um, she put up a Stardew Valley tour first. So I, I, I think she's gonna do multiple different kinds of things if I remember correctly. So good luck, Guffy. You guys go check her out. Give her some subscribers if you possibly can. Um, and then Demo, Demo Gaming Down Under. He is our one of our Aussie friends. And, um, oh, I'm gonna put this down here. He has just started hard mode again. He played hard mode in the original time, and I think I met him during hard mode. Um, it might have been rags to riches, but I want to say it was hard mode. Anyway, he had a lot more rules when he played it the first time, and this time he's, he's playing a traditional hard mode, which surprisingly is way easier <laughs> than the last one. So um, welcome, Demo. I've seen two of his videos, and they were both no commentary. So I don't know how you how everybody feels about no commentary. Let me know. I've been wanting to ask that because I've seen more people um, doing videos without commentary lately, and I wonder how other people feel about it. I don't imagine I could ever do a video without commentary because I just I talk a lot, and yeah. So, but other people do, so I want to know how you feel about it. Probably, I mean, you can comment here in this on this video, but probably I'll put a poll in the community page because I like I like flat out answers. Hello, ladies, I'm not going to talk to you, but I hope I hope you're being friendly to each other. That's all. Um, and then there's another one, and this one's brand new. Like when I subscribed, under 30 subscribers. This is this person's name is Lil Ginger, and they started a solo hard mode challenge. So hang on, I gotta get another axe. So they have a bunch of extra rules, but this is this is an idea that if you don't have Nintendo online, you don't have friends to play with and everything, this is the way you can do hard mode. So I will link to their channel as well. I will link to all of those channels. Go give them some support. Okay, I have one ticket. We're taking whoever we find, because that's how we do it. That's our version of an auto fell. Adi, you can't come. I know you look all packed and ready. I'll see you guys on the first island. Let's go see who our next villager is. Okay, let me just say, <laughs> I still need a snooty and a cranky. And um, I just got, I just got two smugs. I would really prefer to not get another smug. I'm not a big fan of the smugs. And two in a row was a lot. Okay, so we're going to need, oops, wrong button. We're going to need our ladder. Oh, oh, it, oh. 
Oh, I think I think it's I think it's a bull. I can barely see them. It is a bull or a cow? <sighs> Hello, T-Bone. This T-Bone, right? <laughs> well, he's a cranky anyway. What is our second bull? I think there are only are there six? There are only four cows, but I think there are I think there might be six bulls, and we have two of them. We have 33% of the bulls on our island. Well, we'd love to have you come. T-Bone, you come on over. Look how pretty these lilies are. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna clear this island, and as I clear this island, we're gonna talk about the Nintendo Direct. So, as we know, I am not a gamer. I know, I am not a gamer, but I have a game gaming channel, and it's, you know, it's a discussion that I've, I had with people because I have, oh, I didn't mean to pick that. <laughs> it's okay. I have, um, I have, you know, 4,700 hours, right? Pushing 5,000 hours playing Animal Crossing. Again, I'm just going to pick them all. Just pick them all. Pick all the flowers. Um, I have that many hours playing Animal Crossing and Technically, I think that makes me an expert. I think it like once you once you pass 2000 hours doing something, people consider you an expert. I don't know. I was more expert a few years ago when I could remember things, but now that my brain is you know, more of a sieve, um I I feel less of an expert. But that, that, that's all, <laughs> right? Um, until I found Stardew, this was the only game that I played. I, I had played other games over my lifetime, but I'm talking like in 1990 something. Like I probably stopped playing games in 1992 and I only played like Atari games and I played the first Mario game, maybe the second, and then stopped. I played Tetris a lot. And I play um, like solitaire, things like that. But I'm not a gamer. I don't play other games. So this year I started trying other games and I have learned things about myself and what I like and what I don't like. But this, this Nintendo Direct review is going to be from a non-gamer standpoint, right? So there are a ton of games that I'm just like, I don't think so. I have zero interest in that. I have zero interest in anything that involves shooting, right? Any, you, you gotta move because I don't want you to talk to me while I'm doing this. Um, anything where you're shooting people, I don't like those. Um, I, I philosophically will not play games where the the women are designed to be eye candy, right? If if she can't actually wear clothes to fight and not have a chest so big that it would inhibit her ability to fight, then there is zero chance I'm going to play that game. And I'm not going to probably watch anybody play that game um, because I, I, I find it offensive, okay? I can say that. I find it offensive and I, I wish... I wish the game... I, anyway, I'm not going to keep going. So, um, but there were some things that did appeal to me. And these are things that I may not have considered... I just don't want to hold the plant because it doesn't stack. Um, that I may not have considered before I tried some new games this year. Um, a couple that I might have. <clears throat> so let's talk about them, shall we? And I will... I will try to link to it. First off, I will link to the Nintendo Direct video, which is under an hour, like 45 minutes or something. Um, but I will also try to link to each of the games that I mentioned so you can check them out. So the first one, right off the bat, like they opened big. They opened with a new Mario and Luigi game. Was it? I don't think it's I don't think it's any kind of a remake because there were a lot of remakes that they talked about and I don't know all the games well enough to go, oh, this is a remake, this is a remake. There were a bunch of things that had been on other platforms before and were 2D and have now been um, updated to 3D and there were some that, have, that are old school that have been added to the online subscription thing with Nintendo. But... I think this was new, and it's called Mario and Luigi Brothership, and um, it it looks beautiful. It I, it just look it looks like so much fun. It's a 3D Mario. Oh, I need to put my 
axe there. 3D Mario game that just looks like a regular, they call it a platformer game? Is that right? Is that what they call Mario games where you you run and you jump and you, you do things that I can't do and makes me stressed? I don't know. Anyway, it looks like one of those. It's 3D. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I, I had the, the chat off for most of it because it was a live event. Um, so that I could watch it and not be distracted because it was huge, right? There's so many people watching that the chat just, it just flies. It's impossible to keep up with it and it just causes me stress. So, um, but I thought this looks, this looks like it's going to be popular. And I turned the chat on and people were losing their minds over this game. So I think this game is going to be enjoyable. I won't play this game probably. Okay. Let me just say, I might, I might try it once or twice to play it with my family because that's, you know, my promise for this year to try things that my family wants me to try. Um, but it, it is definitely not my play style anymore. I, I am at a point in my life where I do not have adrenaline to spare on games like that. <laughs> so um, I will watch my family play it. That's okay. Um, but I, I won't play it so but it's beautiful and it looks great and then the next one this one this one did appeal to me and this is one that I might I might try and somebody recently commented in a way that I think they're gonna be excited about this so somebody told me that they were playing um, a Hello Kitty game and um, I thought I don't even know what Hello Kitty games there are but there there's a new Hello Kitty game and let me tell you something that I did notice and I think even with that first Mario game, I don't know if other people noticed this, but there were a lot of games that take place on an island. Like over and over, I felt like they were um, capitalizing on New Horizons success without giving us an, another Animal Crossing um, game. So there were a lot of things, a lot of games that took place on an island and other things that I'm gonna that I'm gonna say but this kind of looks like it could be similar to New Horizons it's an open world game it looks like it has you know some of the decorating elements and some possibly some farming elements I don't know if it had farming crafting elements I didn't watch it that closely but um, it's set in the Hello Kitty world right so I'm not I think Hello Kitty is adorable, but I'm not like a huge devotee of Hello of the Hello Kitty world. Um, so I, I I I might get overwhelmed with the cutesy, right? That's that's a lot of cutesy, but I guess this one's kind of cutesy too. But it's you know it's all pink and and well you know you know how Hello Kitty looks. So it might be too much for me, but I'm interested in seeing it. Um, so that's one, and I think that's one that some of you will love. And after, um, in this video comments, I would like to, in the comments of this video, wow, that was bad. I apologize to my friend from Poland who's trying to <laughs> learn English from my videos. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'll try to speak better. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I lost what I was saying. Hello Kitty looks like one that would be fun that you guys might like. Um, and then the next one. Oh, they added basketball to the sports. And I, I have, I have the sports. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's the Switch version of Wii Sports. Switch Sports, maybe? I don't know. That's hard to say. Um, but they added basketball. That's great. I haven't played the sports very often. I think I played it. I might not have even played it at all. But we've done them in the past and I always think it's great to add some more. And you know, I'd, I'd play the basketball. Oh, maybe I would. I have bad shoulders. I'm not sure if I could. But there you go. Whatever. So, um, we, uh, not we Sports. Sports has added basketball. We're gonna, we're gonna just stop right there. And then, um, how much room do I have? Oh, I am so good. I got so much room. So I got the item, right? I got the item and I got the wasp, which means I can just chop things. Okay, next one. Now, this is one that my family will be very excited about. Um, I'm, I'm iffy. It's called Super Mario Party Jamboree. So it's a new Mario Party. It's got um, a ton of new, what do they call it, areas, um, levels. I don't remember what they call them. It's got a bunch of them, boards, 
maybe it's boards but it's got two returning ones one that's like um western land and i don't remember what the other one is but my family loves the mario party games and it is a game that you're supposed to play with other people so i might end up playing it with them i have played one of the mario parties i don't remember which but i will i will play this with my family i'm sure this is one that absolutely we will be buying and oh i think so you can play with up to four in the same room it sounds like on the same same device but online you can play with up to 20 i think it said so that sounds super fun it sounds like we're going to need multiple copies and we'll be playing from wherever we are we have several households that have switches and multiple switches and we could be we could play together it will be fun and then um oh my gosh this one this one looks very intriguing it again it doesn't look like one that i'll play but it looks like one that would be really fun to watch and um could be it it i i think my family will like it i'm in fact i know my family will like it i think it's an adventure game um but it's called funko fusion i don't know if you guys are into the funko pop figures but my family really likes them and it's it's a big mashup of different Funko Pops like that cross a bunch of um, what do you call it uh, fandoms cross cross a bunch of the fandoms and and they fight together and whatever but it's so cool looking you'll need to check out uh, the link go to the go to the trailer did I get everything? I think I got everything. I talk too long. I'm going to have to go back to my island and do some cleanup so I can finish talking. I'll see you guys when we get to my island. Okay, so this next one, I'm... Um, um, I'm reserving judgment on I don't have okay I can't these are my um, these are the coconut trees that I can sell from and they're not ready so I won't be selling coconuts and my pumpkins weren't ready I noticed um, oh look my apples are ready so I moved when I placed able sisters I moved some of my other trees so all nine of my sellable apple trees are here as you can see because they are labeled I might Maybe I should move this one back. It looks kind of sad and lonely over there by itself. Okay, I'm just gonna do regular island maintenance as I finished telling you. So this next one, I'm re I got really excited for a minute and then I'm kind of res reserving judgment now. Um, I am, I don't know if I will play it. I might try it because I think somebody in my life will get it. It's, um, it's 3D, kind. Of, it's a cutesy 3D, kind of like Animal Crossing. But it is, it's a Legend of Zelda game, and let's see, what's it called? Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. So here's the thing. In the trailer, it starts with, um, with Link, what, kind of getting, oh, I can get rid of that now, because I'm not going to chop things down. Um, kind of getting sucked into something, and he's just gone. And then you see, he, he kind of frees Zelda right at the very, very beginning. And, um, and then she's in charge. So you play as Zelda, which is really cool, right? I'm, I checked the chat just a little bit to see how people were feeling about it. And um, people were really excited right off. And then they started to have the same reaction that I had. And that is, she doesn't really fight, right? I mean, the whole point of getting excited is about playing as Zelda is this whole girl power, I can, I can save him kind of idea right and she does but she does it in a different way right she she controls things to use them to throw at people or um, to have monsters fight for her or whatever and you'll have to check it out to see but I'm I'm reserving judgment now I think they're playing up on the idea of she's using her wisdom right so you can fight without having a sword in fact they specifically address the sword thing she won't be she won't be engaging in sword battle and um, I, I just I'm not sure how I feel about that when the Princess Peach game came out 
people got really excited and then it was like oh but it's it's not it's not a girl power game right it's it's a it's it's a it's yeah it's not it's it's just not a girl power game she doesn't she doesn't really get in these big battles and it's okay it's just not so um it feels it feels kind of like pandering this one feels less like that the princess peach it was adorable it, but it's definitely a kids game not an adult game what are you thinking about there bill i have to talk to him because that's in the rules so willow didn't you say, oh yeah i wanted a lantern so much so but you should give it to me <laughs> okay do i have room in, i must have room in my pockets or he wouldn't he wouldn't have been prompted to tell me that let's see um oh i gotta go get rid of stuff so i can sell the shells um anyway the the first one felt kind of like pandering right oh let's give the girls something and um let's make her fight but only in like theater scenes and only in a weakened way kind of thing and it's it's expensive this is the old one this is the princess peach one it's expensive and it's like six i mean yeah it's like i think it's sixty dollars it might not be quite that much but it was like five or six hours long my daughter played it and she's like yeah i don't know that i'd say it was worth the money okay i want to be very careful i can sell um these now in theory not in theory in reality i could sell uh the wood and the tree branches but i'm not going to because um i'm going to going to use those to build with because anything I build I can sell directly to the boys anyway so this one looks better than that um, I'm just I'm withholding judgment it's it's adorable I'm just not sure it's gonna be as as girl power as we were hoping it would be anyway we'll see I don't know and then um, the next one is there's a new just dance and I've been iffy on I, I love the idea of just dance and I like to play just dance even though I'm very not fit and I get very very exhausted really quickly this one intrigues me well first off the last the last one you could only get digitally you couldn't buy a hard copy and I'm not a big fan of that and um, to really get access to things, I'm just going to drop things by my house because I can't think. Um, to really get access to a bunch of stuff, you have to you have to have um, a Just Dance subscription. I don't remember because I haven't played it in a while. I got it for my daughter. She'll know. But um, one of the things that intrigues me with this is it says it has choreography for different... Um, abilities right so for different levels of fitness so in the other ones how much do I have I can go this far forward uh, in the other ones um, there's a balloon where's the balloon there it is in the other versions of just dance um, there were easy songs and there were difficult songs there were difficulty levels but um, it was on different songs this one looks like each of the songs will have difficulty levels, which I would love because there were times when I was like, I love that song, but I can't do a difficult level. I just can't. I'm just not good enough. And then I would just get frustrated. So that I think would be a huge improvement if, if that's the case, if there is um, different choreography for different difficulty levels on each song, that would be great. And then, um, but again, I'm betting it's only available digitally and here's the reason that matters because if I if I can buy a, a hard copy an actual cartridge then I can play it sometimes on mine or my daughter can play it on hers or I can loan it to my other daughter or whatever but if you buy it digitally then you can only play it on the switch that you bought it on which obviously is a money-making deal but it's not very kind and generous to your audience I, I imagine most people oh that was a fossil I imagine most people are playing are buying digitally these days anyway but if you have multiple switches or multiple people who use switches then that's a that's not you know the way you'd want to buy it I'm gonna go ahead and um, harvest these while I talk so the next one is <laughs> I gotta tell you so it's a Lego game 
and I think it's a remake of an old Lego game, but this is another one of those ways where I was like, it feels like they're capitalizing on the success of New Horizons um, without actually creating a new Animal Crossing game, and it's called uh, Lego Horizon Adventures, and I know, I know Horizon isn't just a, an Animal Crossing word, but it, you know, the timing, because you know that Animal Crossing characters are just, I mean, Animal Crossing fans are just dying for a new game. So if you can throw out keywords that are going to grab their attention, you can't tell me that that somebody didn't think, oh, you know what, this might grab some people for us. So we'll see. It, you know, it looks like it could be fun. It's, it's just like it's a Lego game, you know, like Lego games are. I should have 27. Okay. Um, I think they said that it was the first Lego game. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't play the Lego games. My family does, but I don't. So let's see. Two more. Okay. <laughs> so this one. This one just at first I was like, oh, people are gonna be happy. Wow, this is very different, right? So we like unique things. New ideas are fun. Um, cat games are quite big right now, right? People people like a game about a cat, especially in the cozy gaming community. Um uh, Little Kitty Big City, is that what that one's called? And then there's a, a Cats and Calico or something. Um, anyway, there's several, oops, I had something else. Several different, uh, um, let me do this and then I'm going to see what else I have that I need to do today. <sighs> several different cat games right now that are big in the cozy community. Let's go diving. Okay, I have to plant a tree, craft things, horse mackerel, and sell things. Um... Oh, I don't have to sell things. That's not a multiplier. So I need to do those four. Let's go diving. And I will tell you about this cat. This cat game. It's called Stray. And I don't think it's a cozy game. I mean, yeah, I don't th I don't think you can call it a cozy game. I don't think just because something um, has a cat, it makes it a cozy game. So let's take off our shoes. Let's... I like to take something off so it fills that space. So I don't get um, I don't get creatures in that space that I then forget to drop or whatever have to work around. Oh, there's a shark. It's probably a sucker fish. It could be a whale shark because those are out during the daytime, but it's probably a sucker fish. Anyway, it's called Stray, and um, it's it's beautifully animated. I don't know I don't know the different games enough to compare it to another game. Um, but it has it, it has a cat that kind of kind of gets transported pulled into um a different is it a different realm or just a different place i don't know it gets pulled into kind of um it looks like a kind of a sci-fi-ish not really kind of a just a different setting, right? Kind of a, um, kind of a, a maybe a post-apocalyptic, but not to the point of Mad Max <laughs> kind of thing, right? So it gets pulled into this into this place that's a little darker, and it has, um, it has to, it has to what find its way out. It has to deal with things. Anyway, it's it's an adventure kind of thing. You play as the cat. It looks like. Do you play as the cat? I don't know. I'll have to look it up and watch the trailer again. But as I was watching it, I was like, oh, a cat game. Oh, this is not a cozy cat game. I don't think I've seen a game where you play as a cat and you're not the, co you're not, it's not a cozy game. You know what I mean? So anyway, I think it, I think it's interesting and I want to know what my, my cat fans, cat fan friends think about it. If you're a person, um, everyone's heard of an eager beaver, but otters are a hundred times more eager. So why don't we get credit for it? Because your name doesn't rhyme. That's why. Eager beaver. It's a rhymer. Mostly. Okay. So, um, I'm going to keep diving for a second while I finish talking. So, um, if you are a person who is all about, ooh, new cat game, and likes cozy cat games, I, I would love to hear what you think about it if you, if you saw the trailer. Um, if you'd like to, like I said, I will put, I will leave a link to the trailer in the description of this video, and you can go watch it and then come back and comment on, on it if you'd like. It's called Stray. So, like a stray cat. 
that's you know if you can remember it that way um, and then the last one is Tales of the Shire and I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one it's a Lord of the Rings based game and um, it's one of those things where people are people were hesitantly excited I'm gonna get out so I can get that balloon when it gets here people are hesitantly excited like my daughter is a huge Lord of the Rings fan and she's an Animal Crossing and cozy game fan so it sounds like a natural um, win for her and she um, she was she's been excited about it but also cautious because when it's a fandom that you love if it's not done well it's going to be a problem. You, it's, it's one of those things where you want to be cautious because um, you, as we all know, because we're grown-ups and we've lived in this world for a little while, um, companies really like to make money off things we love. So if it's something that people are, you know, dedicated to, then of course they're going to make something that can um that's gonna that's gonna give them money whether it's really good or not right like bandle tail sold really well i think and but not everybody loved it i i didn't love it although i learned a lot about myself i think oh i thought i already had oh i have that on my other island um i learned i've learned a lot about myself and what i like so um i don't know about this one to me it looks a little like Palea, Palea. Everybody says it a little bit different. I know, I know that it's that it's pay, right? But where the accent is, is it Palea or Palea? I'm I'm not sure. Oh, I hope none of those. Okay, none of those were new. I didn't think they were. And then, um, but it looks kind of like that, and that doesn't really appeal to me, right? That's not really my kind of game. I'm just gonna harvest some fruit while I finish this up. So anyway it it i don't i don't love the look of the hobbits um i'm i'm not really sold on the animation i don't know you'll have to tell me what you think i believe it said it was coming um this holiday season so we'll just have to wait and see but of the group of this whole group let me look at my list really quickly uh the one that i think out of all the group that I'm most likely to like is the Hello Kitty one. So, cause it looks, it looks like it's, it's kind of possibly farming sim in the modern farming sim, not the, hey, let's grow a farm farming sim, right? Like a creating things, maybe friendshipping and decorating and stuff. So we'll see. Anyway, that's all. Those are my thoughts. I just wanted to share them and we needed to do our villager hunt. Where do we put our villager? Let's go make sure we got him because we want to have another bowl. So here's the other thing. As I talked about before, we have, um, okay, I'm going to water these flowers really quickly. We have, um, I had a poll. I did a poll about whether people liked um, categories or not and I was very surprised at how many people did not and now we're up to what were we at I think we were uh, over 50 votes and we were at the point where only 80% of the people who watch my videos like to play categories at the end and um, Bill was like you can't give up categories <laughs> especially you know at first it was just 10% but then he said you can't give it up just for 10% and I said I understand that and um, I, I absolutely want to do what people want to see on that I, I do not I'm not gonna make content just because people like it I, if I don't love it it's I can't it can't happen because I just no, it won't happen but 20% if 20% are, are not fans and another I don't remember what it was seven or eight percent are just whatever then I feel like I want to kind of honor that so what I'm gonna do um, and I'm still I'm still kind of feeling it out but I think probably once a week maybe every five videos I'm not gonna do categories just just to give people a little bit of that plus honestly 
Scategories, when I do Scategories, it does add some editing time for me. So this will mean a faster video, right? I can get the video out faster. So today we're not doing Scategories. And that's okay, it's okay to not do Scategories. But that also means I won't be choosing a letter of the day, which means everybody is a superstar today. I don't wanna say goodbye by Rodney's house. <laughs> Let's say goodbye up here by our new plot. Should we? I think we should chop these trees down because that's oh can I move them do I have I think I have fruit right I do let's move these two trees um, but thank you so much for being here you're all wonderful everybody is a superstar today what do I want to wish you I wish you I feel like I'm playing the present game. Do you guys play this present game because um, I it's it's something that's it's kind of a thing and um, but my my nephew went to a party with us and they were doing it and he was like I have no idea what that is so do you play heavy heavy hangover so um, the person has you're giving the person your present and you say heavy heavy hangover thy poor head what do you wish with a bump on your head and you you bump them in the head <laughs> with your present and they give you a wish but there's also a way which I hadn't heard of before where they say do you eat it do you wear it or do you play with it and they guess what the what you do with their present this is going to be annoying as far as pathing but we'll figure it out um anyway i think that's fun so tell me if you do that we're going to do a little heavy heavy hangover so what do i wish without a bump on the head what do i wish you i wish you hmm sunshine I, I, we, we had a heat wave and then we had a cold snap. It was really cold today, but it's very sunny. It's so funny. Anyway, I wish you sunshine and rainbows and whatever mythical creatures are your favorite. Tell me what your favorite mythical creature is. My favorite mythical creature is a dragon. I love dragons, which is why I love dragonflies. Cause you know, that's the closest I can get to having a real dragon. I mean, I guess I could have a, an iguana or something, but no. Anyway, so tell me what your favorite mythical creature is. You're all amazing and wonderful. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Check out some of these trailers and let me know what games you're excited about and think you might play and answer any other questions that I put down there. Don't forget to check out the poll on whether or not you like videos with no commentary. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.